What's crack, it's Vangelina Skov, and welcome to a video that I am almost 100% certain that the YouTube gods will not deem is okay for ads. So that's fun, uh, but I wanted to make this video anyway because it's horrible. Maybe I just like to torture myself, I don't know. But anyway, today we're going to be talking about Gabby DiMartino and the recent pictures that she posted to OnlyFans, which caused a lot of backlash. Now, you may have heard of this already if you're pretty active on Twitter. A lot of people have been talking about it, and rightly so. But whether you're unsure of the full ins and outs of it or you just don't know what's going on at all and want to know, I'm just going to be giving you a brief overview of what happened from then until now. But before we get into that, please subscribe and click the bell button to get notifications when I upload and also subscribe since I said this video is probably gonna be like no ads and uh, a lot of videos I do end up like that and a lot of future videos that I'm planning will probably end up like that so if you feel so inclined and you absolutely do not have to but if you would like to support me in the channel a little extra bit you can sign up for the Patreon or for the YouTube memberships with the links in the description. You'll also get extra benefits like uh, bloopers reels and extra videos, um, music, things like that. Anyway, enough about that, let's talk about Gabby. So this is a weird one because the first time that I actually heard about her, and in fact the only time up until now, was when Trisha Paytas had involved Gabby De Martino in the Gabby Hanna drama. I can't fully explain to you what happened there or why she was involved because Trisha Paytas explaining this whole thing made absolutely no sense whatsoever. All I know is that Gabby DeMartino was somehow involved in all of that and that's the only time I've heard her name. Other than that, uh, she's actually been pretty successful as an Ariana Grande, not copy, what's the word? Impersonator. Uh, she rose to fame through impersonating Ariana Grande and actually ended up in one of her music videos, which I didn't realize. I'd actually seen the video, but not knowing who Gabby DeMartino was, I didn't really notice. So there's that. <laughs> but recently she's being talked about for quite a bit more than Ariana Grande or any kind of music videos. At the moment she is in a hell of a lot of trouble, like quite a bit. And as I already said, you may have heard about this, you may not have, but this whole drama has to do with OnlyFans. And now this is not about her starting an OnlyFans or uh, people getting mad that she's doing OnlyFans. She's been doing it for a while, People generally don't mind, that's fine. We're all very accepting of people doing that. But she chose to post something very controversial onto her OnlyFans, and this was a video from when she was three years old. Now, this was a video that you had to pay for. If you don't know how OnlyFans works, you can sign up to somebody's account or subscribe to them or whatever it's called. Apparently, I don't know how it works either. Uh, you can either subscribe for free or it's paid, and beyond that there are also paid posts, so you have to pay to see them. This particular one was three dollars, and it had the caption, won't put my panties on. No other, um, anything else besides that, just that one thing, did not say what was in the video, did not say that this was a childhood video. So if you paid for that post and you went and you opened it and you played it, you would not see grown-up Gabby DeMartino not putting her panties on, you would see three-year-old her flashing the camera. Now, I don't think that I have to explain to you why that is bad. I think it's fairly obvious to say that videos like that of children, whether those children are adults now or not, is not okay in any forms. And in fact, it is actually illegal. And legal authorities have said, no, do not share videos of children. Do not watch them. Do not have them. Do not distribute them. It is against the law. But Gabby sort of decided to ignore that and do it anyway. So posted this very, very inappropriate video of her as a child with a caption that led people to believe that this was going to be a video of current day her without any underwear. Now, a lot of people called her out for this immediately. One of those was Spill Sesh, who has a YouTube channel. They tweeted out saying, you better make a statement ASAP about this. You better not be trolling with kid pics and thinking that's okay. And this was the tweet that Gabby decided to respond to. She said, a childhood video of me on the phone saying, Nanny says, put your panties back on and jumping up and down laughing. I'm sorry I didn't think that one through, period. A home video I love to share with my friends and I use my OnlyFans as a Finsta page where I share stuff as I would with friends. The video was a goofy throwback family moment that I wanted to share with my personal OnlyFans fancy babies. I think that's what she calls her fans, fancy babies. It, I don't like that name, but I guess it's fine. <laughs> I'm sorry that this wasn't thought out completely, I apologize. This video is down now, I'm sorry again if this came out wrong. So people have picked apart this so-called apology 
for not really being apology, um, for seeming more like deflecting from the issue and making excuses and trying to claim that it was okay. People have also pointed to her saying that I use my OnlyFans as a finsta to share stuff with my friends. People have said, well, that's not what you use OnlyFans for and why did you charge for it and use a baiting tactic to get people to pay for it. She makes the claim here that she didn't really fully understand what she was doing, she didn't think it through, but again, a lot of people have said she absolutely did know what she was doing. One of these, I believe, was Dustin Daly, who I saw tweet out that, yes, Gabby knew exactly what she was doing with the caption, won't put my panties back on. There was one tweet I was trying to find that I read when I was reading about all of this and I cannot find it now, it's driving me mad and I can't even remember who tweeted it. I saw somebody tweeting that if you wanna use your OnlyFans as an Instagram page for your friends, why don't you just make an Instagram page for your friends? And also following that up by saying, you don't charge your friends to see your content. And if you did want to post this on Instagram for your friends, you would have known that this would have gotten taken down for violating their terms of service. But on the topic of things getting taken down, she did say that she took this video down, um, but that was definitely not enough. And in fact, OnlyFans, the platform, has also decided that this was not enough because they have removed her account. People started noticing that when they went to Gabby's page, it was no longer there and no longer available. People weren't sure if it was a mistake or it had actually been deleted. But later on, OnlyFans did confirm in a DM to somebody that Gabby's page had been removed for violating their terms or something like that. Now, I don't know, and it hasn't been said anywhere that I can see if Gabby is going to face any kind of legal repercussions for this, because as stated before, this is almost definitely illegal, and it's actually quite a serious offence too. And with the way the internet works, I would not be surprised at all if a lot of people had contacted legal authorities about this to try and get them to investigate it. I don't know how the law works. Okay, so I don't know if that means they're going to investigate it or not, if they have the option to not investigate it, if people are calling them about it. But it is a possibility that in the future she will be investigated and maybe even receive some kind of consequence for this. But that bit is completely speculation since none of that has happened yet. It is just a future possibility. We also don't know if Gabby will ever get her OnlyFans back. It's likely that she won't, but she could just end up making a new one and starting from scratch. Anyway, this situation is a whole big mess. Gabby has not said anything on Twitter since the apparent apology about all of this. Excuse my appearance, but since I recorded this video, there has been a little bit of an update. Uh, Gabby has actually uploaded a video apologizing. It's the usual, I'm sorry, so sad. Um, moved on to say, I didn't realize a video so innocent would be received in such a disgusting way. Um, so basically claiming again, she didn't really understand what she was doing and she didn't think anybody would see it in any kind of inappropriate way. And um, yeah, the general consensus seems to be that people do not accept her apology, they think that she knows exactly what she was doing, and they don't care what she has to say because they think she's in the wrong. Um, so there you go, that's the update. I won't show you the- uh, why am I still doing this? I don't know. <laughs> I won't show you the video because copyright is a thing. Uh, but if you feel so inclined, you can watch the apology on Gabby's channel, albeit it's not particularly interesting or informative or it's just a regular YouTuber apology. That's it. Anyway, I I I'm gonna go finish the video now. Yay! <laughs> I need coffee. So for now, that's about all we know. But do let me know, as always, what you think about this whole situation. Do you think she really didn't know what she was doing or do you think this was very calculative? And if you don't feel like commenting about that, you can let me know what the weather is like where you are today. I know I've asked that one a few times, but the weather is, is a big thing. Everybody experiences weather. <laughs> I usually ask this when I'm enjoying the weather where I am. That's why it's quite cloudy today. It's a little bit chilly. I mean, it's probably freezing outside, but in the apartment right now, it's a bit chilly. So if you don't want to comment on the drama, comment on that because Comments help my engagement. Thank you very much. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for me for now. Before I go, I do want to say I am really, really trying to get back onto daily videos and I just think I need you guys to hold me accountable. <laughs> just be like, hey, where, where's the video? If you if you don't see me uploading a video, you can... I'm going to do my intro all wacky today. Imagine that you can follow me on social media and comment at me, why is there no video today, Evangelina? And I'll go, meh. <laughs> 
Anyway, as I said at the start of the video, please subscribe and click the bell button to get notifications when I upload, and if you would like to, you can also check out the memberships or the Patreon down below. Like, comment, share, and do all the things that I'm supposed to ask you to do at the end of a video, and have a wonderful day. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, wait, no, before I go, did I mess with you that the intro was slightly, slightly wrong? It's messing with me. <laughs> okay, actually, bye this time. Bye.